Guys, this is Mubeen. We are talking about pulmonology. The lecture now is the Haldane effect. The definition of Haldane effect is simple. It is the favoring of carbon dioxide unloading or loading by the change in pressure of oxygen. What does that mean? What that means is this. Oxygen pressure changes help load or unload carbon dioxide. What does, how is that practical for us? In the lungs, oxygen pressure is high, so it helps unload the carbon dioxide to be released. In the tissues, oxygen pressure is low, that helps loading of the carbon dioxide to be picked up. So that is called the Haldane effect. It is a reverse of the Bohr effect. Let's look at how does this happen. So let's say here is a, here is an alveolus. This is lungs. So, this is an alveolus. Let us say that we have, this is a blood vessel. This blood vessel is going to take, this is a tissue, tissue is making carbon dioxide, that carbon dioxide is coming out. What is happening? We know that the carbon dioxide comes in and it loads onto the, some of this is in dissolved form, right. Other is attached to the hemoglobin and then majority of the carbon dioxide becomes the HCO3 and is moving in the bicarb form to the lungs. We know these, we have done a separate lecture on it, so I do not want to spend too much time on this. The point is carbon dioxide is going to come from here to here. Now when it comes here, the Haldane effect is this way. Let us look at hemoglobin. This is a hemoglobin molecule. Of course, the effect is pertinent to the hemoglobin. So, this is a hemoglobin molecule and this molecule has carbon dioxide attached to it. How can we favor this carbon dioxide to be dissociated? So, here is the mechanism. When oxygen comes in, when oxygen comes in, because oxygen pressure is very high over here, 100 millimeter of mercury. Oxygen here was 40 PO2 in the venous blood was 40. So, there is a 60 millimeter of mercury gap. With that gap, oxygen comes in. When oxygen comes in, it loads onto the hemoglobin, right. Now, when the oxygen loads on the hemoglobin, what happens is there is a conformational change in hemoglobin. Hemoglobin becomes acidic and it releases hydrogen ion. This hydrogen ion then favors, because the acidity has become reduced, it favors the release of carbon dioxide. So, that is one. How does that happen? Remember, hydrogen would combine with HCO3 that would give carbon dioxide plus water, this carbon dioxide will be going out. So, one proton release has caused a carbon dioxide to be removed. When the carbon dioxide is removed, of course, the pressure reduces further and that causes the carbon dioxide to be removed from the hemoglobin as well. This is the Haldane effect. This is the Haldane. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.